Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to talk to you today about something that I completely had trouble wrapping my head around when I first started learning how to develop, which was what is Git? It was seemed like such a kind of strange and unique concept that applied to nothing but development. So it was really hard for me to initially wrap my head around. And I wanna explain a lot of the basics to you today. So when you think Git, you know, have a clear understanding of where to start. Let me know down in the comments below what else you want to add to what is Git so you can help other people learn as well when they are reading through the comments. Subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So what is Git? Git is a free open source distributed version control system. Git's purpose is to keep track of different files and projects as they change over time from different users coming in and changing part of the project. Git stores the information about the project's progress on a repository. A repository has commits to the project or a set of references to the commits called heads. And all this information is stored in the same folder as the project in a .git subfolder and will most likely be hidden by default for most systems. Okay, so basically, Git keeps track of different changes that are happening on a project from different people who are coding different parts of, of the project. And then it merges the code where people have worked on different parts of the project into the one project. This way, if someone introduces a bug, it's way easier to track down the bug by going through the commits to see where the bug came from. Commits must be made to the project to really tell Git that you are satisfied with the code that you have written and that you want to commit the code into the main branch, which is called master by default. You can then upload the code to GitHub or Bitbucket where authorized users can then view, pull, or push the code. Okay, but let's go through a example of some of the most basic Git commands that you should know how to write. Okay, let's get started. So as you can see here, I've created a working folder just for this example and created a file called example.js. And in this example.js, we're going to write the following lines of code. Let's make a function called say hi, and we'll pass in a parameter called name. And we're simply gonna return a template literal string that will pass in the parameter name, depending on what name you pass it. Okay, now that we have our function, let's console log it out. So if we wanted to, we could see the whole sentence that we are printing. Next up, I'm going to open up the terminal in VS Code, right in the um, IDE. Okay, make sure I'm in the project, which I am. The first thing we are going to do is initialize a Git repository. So every change that you make is tracked into a repository. So to use Git, this will be the first thing you'll do. And to initialize a Git repository, use the command while in the working folder, git init. Okay, as you can see here, I opened up the folder of this project and now there is a .git hidden um, folder. Usually you won't be able to see that. I set up my um, environment that I am able to see my hidden folders, but if you don't see it in your project, that's because it's hidden. Next, let's commit the changes that we have made by doing git add and then the file that we had made the changes to, which in our case is example.js. And once again, committing changes is a way to keep track of when or who added this code. Also, as a side note, if you wanted to add multiple files, replace the file name with a period to add all files. Okay, once you are satisfied with adding some commits from your code, uh, to ensure you have the correct files on the stage, use git status to check what files are on the stage. And as you can see here, the files with the green font are files that have successfully been added to the staging. To commit the changes to master, use the following command, git commit, dash M for master, and then your commit message. Thank you all for watching this video on Git for Beginners. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos on Git getting more advanced. 